love bugs is rosalind back at you one more again i hope everybody is doing blessed i'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you and if this is your first time coming to my channel much love to you and welcome into my returning subs my growing extended beautiful family thank you so much for the love and support just dropping your lines and just be open with me and you know just tell me you know the things that are going on in your life and the things that you're working on and you know i'm sending extra you know good luck vibes your way to make sure you're succeeding on whatever you're heading towards and with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already what are you waiting for like and subscribe even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when i'm about to upload my next video or even if you feel like you're comfortable enough drop the lines on me i would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback the content in my video or you're just up telling me about your impact the gift and how to impact your life and head you towards a positive direction or if you feel like the video just gave good vibes you're like girl i gotta share this oh man let me go ahead and share this she's speaking on some stuff and please go ahead and do so give me a thumbs up like and even share on your social media favorites and thank you so much for stopping by my channel and showing love and support and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and this beautiful peaceful music i'm listening to today is called God's Healing on um, Frequency, Six Tones of Creation, Sacred Sofigo Healing Tones by Nerial Beats, and I will post that link in the description box below. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101, like it, uh, uh, Twin Flame, like it or not, you signed up for this. Yes, we did. Because I know there's sometimes we be going through some hell, y'all. I know. Trust believe me. I know we be going through some hell. And it is just like, you don't understand why you got to keep going through this. Why does this happen? Why does that? Like I done told y'all before in many of my videos, if y'all been dealing with me, you know, for a while, you'll know I have told you with many millenniums ago when, I mean, before when they even created whatever, all the stuff they created. Our G.I. Joe selves just felt like we were all super soldiers, okay, and told God, universe, hey, you know what? You sent me to the worst, toughest folks, the a-holes, the narcissists, you know, these hardcore whatever, whatever. I got this. You know, I can get them. I can get them where I need to get them and show them where I can, you know, do whatever. You signed that oath, you know, did that little three, whatever, whatever, and did not know you'd be wanting to kick your ass. <laughs> many millions of years later like what the hell did i do in my last life to go through the mess i'm going through right now oh man oh man oh man what did i do and i, I mean there's many a days i tell y'all when i do these vlogs you know i get embarrassed sometimes of the things i say but i'm like why should i get embarrassed for this is a human thing we f up every day and then we learn from a lot of things. Sometimes we still don't learn and we still out there doing the same stupid stuff. And then we're still wondering why things are the way they are. Because if you're not recognizing the things that you need to change, it's going to get worse. And if you don't change it, the universe is going to make you change it. There's days that I feel bad. You know, there's days I just don't want to deal with it. And I just want the voices to turn off. I don't want to hear my thoughts well enough alone anybody else's. So I roll up a blunt. It got to the point where I can't even enjoy it no more. Try to get to my higher self because I, I ask God to, you know, if it's blocking me or whatever, you know, stop me from smoking because I, I mean I'm not really feeling it no more and I be dag if I go up to something higher you know because stuff out here is dangerous you know you hear too many people you know smoking weed or whatever and it's laced with something or other people you know you if, if you watch the movie Friday you see what happened to Smokey Smokey out there cuckooing out there in the daggone chicken coop I be damn <laughs> if I smoke a blunt with somebody and next thing you know I end up on a chicken coop on somebody's top of the roof hollering like a wolf uh-uh no <laughs> some lines gotta be drawn so it's just like it's just self telling me you know you need to find ways to get through the things you need to get through you need to find ways to um 
be able to hang, handle your anger and your depression. You know, even though, you know, to each his own, a lot of people that does work for it, but it's just with my situation. You know, I used to say, I'm like, Dag, I see all these people doing all these beautiful things, and yes, they smoke. Why, why can't I do it? You know, I get my best content from this. I get to my higher self that way, but it's, you know, but it's just the whole point. It's not like it's blocking my blessings, but it's just telling me, you know what? If it's, it's just you, if you're coughing a lot, if you're heezing a lot, you know, um, you you just not feeling it like you used to. You know, it could be all different kind of strands, and it's just like it's not. It, it might be that first one that gets you, but the next, you know, you got to take so many to do that. You know, it was just telling me I can't do that anymore. You know, and I like I said, I keep it real with y'all. You know, it's just like going through things. I know how it is in life. You know, if you are, you know, if you're addict towards something, you know, I know some people it's sad enough to know that when they go through things, they cut themselves and they feel good for cutting themselves. I've known people like that. That's a day, no way. You know, and I've actually done that before. And, it, you know, it really recognized, to, you know, it got me to that point where I said I would never do that again. You know, because it was just things I was really going through at the time and I just didn't want to feel it anymore. You know, so it's just saying, you know, going through seeing people's situations and knowing I don't know your deepest, darkest secrets, the things that, you know, has really messed with you in life. And it's just like, you know, we signed up for this at the beginning. We have picked and choose personally the people that we have planted ourselves into their lives because these people are jacked up sometimes. They're, they have been, you know, not to actually say jacked up because it's like name calling, but they really went through some mess like we have. And it was just instead of stopping that cycle, they they spilled that off into someone else. And it goes to all the others, you know, people being malefic and being malefic towards other people. And we're trying to stop that cycle. And it's just we always wonder why we're attached to people like this because we, we ask for these type of people because they are the ones who need it the most you know even though we feel like we're you know they're broken we're we're the broken ones is, you know we're not broken but we're the ones that need help but it's like while we're giving the healing and the help we're helping ourselves as well if that makes any sense you know we're going through our own things but we see people out there you know I, I just went through a blessing today and not to really get into it because it's like you know you're, you're you're taking away from your blessings but you know when I was able to do something just you know selflessly you know and I know this was something I would never do you know in the process even with my daughter being with me you know I, I told her you know this is not a good thing but if you feel compelled to do something for somebody that you really don't know and no period and God reaches out to you and say, hey, go help that person. Or you hear that little voice in your head that you know is not, you know, sending you any kind of harm. But they tell you to go help that person. Go ahead and do it. And I did that and it made me feel so good, even though I got issues and you know, issues that I got to deal with or whatever, that made me feel good on the inside, just knowing that. And I tell y'all that anytime, you know, the little bit of blessings that you get in some of your life and you see somebody out on the corner and sometimes they could be panhandling or whatever, but you know your empath, you know when somebody trying to run some game on you and when somebody is really going through some stuff. You know, even when you're going through something hard and they just ask for a couple of, you know, couple, couple of, you know, cents or, you know, a couple of coins or whatever. Be able to try to see if you can give them a dollar or fifty. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to give them whatever. But if you bless like that, hey, go ahead and give them more. You know, obviously they needed it more than you did. You know, and there will be times that, you know, I'll be trying to run two pennies together and somebody asking me for something. And I'll go ahead and give them. A couple of dollars even though I get angry you know because it's like I really needed it but you never know somebody could be in a worse predicament than you so it's just like when we go through all these things and you try to understand why we're going through them it's because you know we signed up for it so just know you know you're gonna be blessed in the long run don't worry and things will be better so I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video and send out much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are blessed, highly favored, and truly loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. 
And like and subscribe, drop that, you know, that hit that bell on the notification button so you know when I'm about to upload load a video. Drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you. Say hey to Irma. She's over here trying to see her show her cameo and messing with my stuff. And go ahead and like and share on your thumb give me a thumbs up on your social media favorites. And I will talk to you on my next video. It's an how much love and light as I possibly can. And my shout out today is for Die Foodie Vlogs. Love you, Die. She knows she be wearing. Y'all need to go to her her uh, channel on YouTube, and she has some really good videos with some really good snacks and stuff and really quick uh, recipes. So I will talk to y'all in my next video. Peace and be wild.